Hey everyone, Austin here again with another Let's Play video. Today it's going to be Batman the Video Game for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, this is uh, one of those other games that I did a Let's Play on many, many years ago. It was probably one of my earlier Let's Plays back in 2012 or so. And uh, it was a pretty rambly video. I think I even stopped like halfway through the play session and was just talking about some random story and uh, spent probably 10 minutes not doing anything in the video. So I decided that with my updated hardware setup and recording setup that it's it's time to revisit the game um, and do a hopefully more concise let's play. Uh, I did some practice this week and it's, it's been years since I last finished this game, but I dedicated uh, some time, spent a few hours practicing this earlier in the week and was able to figure out boss patterns for bosses I didn't even know the patterns for, uh, like the Joker and so forth. So hopefully we can sort of tear through this one and uh, hopefully we can do pretty well at it. And I've, as usual, obviously, I'll explain the strategies and stuff like that and give you some tips and give you an overview on the game and whatnot. Not if you're, you know, uh, either familiar with this, uh, but not very good at it, or just, or you've never played it before, but you're thinking about it. Um, hopefully this video can help you out with that. So, um, before we jump into the game, as usual, I'm going to give a big shout out to my current Patreon backers, so they're going to flash by the screen. Thank you all for your continued patronage, I really, really appreciate it. Also, the recent live stream super chatters are going to flash by as well, and thank you guys as well for your patronage. So let's go ahead and jump into it. This is, uh, that was the intro there, and, uh, just gotta wait for that to come back up. There we go. And there we go. Batman has some amazing visuals. This is, uh, really a great game, uh, through and through, but man, the visuals in this are just some of the, you know, some top-tier stuff on the NES, like the, the cutscenes between, between stages and whatnot. Uh, your levels, um... Also look really good as well. Uh, there's going to be some really nice animation later on in the game. That's going to be uh, pretty impressive, actually. Um, so yeah, you're Batman here. You're just little purple Batman. Uh, if you hit the uh, start button, you can actually switch through different weapons. You've got this boomerang here. Uh, if you switch it again, you've got this gun. And then you've got this other thing. I meant to look up the name of this thing, but I don't know what it is. Uh, it eats up a lot of ammo, but it's it's really, really powerful as well. So we're going to be using all of these, actually, as we play through the game. Uh, your fist is also really, really good in this game. It comes out really, really fast. You can use it really quickly if you time it just right. Uh, also, when enemies blink in this game, enemies that take multiple hits, if you touch them while they're blinking, you actually won't take any damage. So you're actually... Um, sort of invincible for a short period of time uh, when you are punching enemies or just hitting enemies in general but generally you're only going to be close to enemies when uh, you're punching them so that's actually going to be a strategy on later bosses in the game there are a couple bosses where we basically just just want to punch them over and over again to uh, you know take advantage of those invincibility frames you've also got wall jumping all you have to do is just press the jump button uh, when you're next to a wall and you will wall jump so there are a lot of parts of the game that have you jumping back and forth And let's just come down here. Let these things uh, Walk close to us and then we'll just punch them uh, For this part. I'm gonna go ahead and just use this uh, this weapon here just to sort of take these guys out from a distance A lot of times what I'll do is I'll just sit here uh, or I'll get right in front of them and I will punch them but uh, I'm just gonna play it safe. I'm gonna switch back over to the boomerang for this guy here Seems like the boomerang is probably the best way to deal with him. And we are running out of ammo. We do need ammo for the boss fight. So what I probably should have done is actually grind it out for ammo pickups. And actually let's switch back to the boomerang here. I don't know if we're going to be able to replenish our ammo. Well, there's a little bit. Let's see if uh, guys spawn here. I don't think anyone's going to spawn. Nope. Okay, well this is going to be tricky. I've never actually gotten to this boss fight with so little ammo, so... Uh, what we're going to do is on the boss is switch over to our third weapon. This one right here. We might actually be fine. And we basically just want to let him uh, dive down. And then we're going to sort of delay our hit a little bit. And by doing that, um, we can actually hit him twice with it. So just kind of sit here. Oops, I messed that up. There we go. That's two hits right there. And it's another two hits. One more should probably do it. There we go. Good deal. All 
Alright, on to stage two. So we're gonna be doing a lot of punching on this level. So you'll notice that enemies can also drop hearts. You'll also see B icons, and here's a little shortcut right here. Normally you're supposed to go all the way over to the right, but it's actually kind of unnecessary. You can just take that little shortcut there using your wall jump. And these flamethrower guys, you can get right in front of them and just punch them if you just, you know, time your attack. But, you know, it's actually faster to just, um, you know, use your special. Right here, we're gonna wall jump here to get over there. We're gonna use our boomerang right there. And these things in the floor, uh, they're kind of like mines, and when they when they trigger, they come after you, then explode. But you can actually stand and use this weapon to take them out. You know, I actually never knew that back in the day, so that was something I figured out just recently. So that's actually kind of handy. Normally what I do is I let them trigger, and then I jump. And here's another shortcut right here. Again, normally you're supposed to go to the left, and then work your way around, but we don't need to. Lots and lots of wall jumping in this game. It's actually one of my favorite things about the game. Uh, the wall jumping is a lot of fun. I'm just gonna wait for that guy, and then just punch him like that. Switch over to our boomerangs. You're noticing that I, uh, you know, you'll notice that I'm, I'm constantly switching back after I use a weapon that I want. Because generally, I just want to punch. But there are occasions where I do want to switch over to the boomerang, or, you know, the gunshot, or something like that. But I want to switch right back to my fist, because that's, that's, you know, my most used weapon in the game. So this part can be a little tricky as well. I try to... Ooh, that was close. I try to fall down and hit, you know, like, wall jump off just, like, the t like the lowest edge possible. And right here, we're gonna try to... Oops, I messed that up. For that part, I like to try to wall jump about halfway off that, uh, that platform, or that wall. And let's try that again. Oops. Oh well, not a big deal. That's a, those are actually really tough parts to get perfectly without taking damage. Especially that second one, because when you jump off that wall and you get close to landing on the platform, uh, a lot of times there's that, that soldier or runner at, you know, that runner that's there. And it's just kind of tough to deal with. Let's destroy that mine and jump over this one. What we're going to do is just sort of sit here and grind out. So these things are a common feature through, uh, through the rest of the game starting now. And you can just punch these things endlessly. And you can refill your health. You can refill your ammo. The B icons are just bonus points, so you don't really have to worry about those. The missile icons are uh, ammo replenishments. And sometimes it feels like forever that, uh, you know, it takes for a heart to actually appear. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about it. Switching back to our fists, just like that. We've got this conveyor belt. And this one I'm just gonna go ahead and destroy with my boomerang. Because it'll make this easier, you know, this part easier to, uh, to get past. Man, I am really dyslexic today. I'm just not talking right at all. Shouldn't have had Taco Bell. That stuff's poison, man. Messes with your mind. <laughs> Makes it harder to Let's Play games. All right, so we're gonna fall down here. There are a couple different routes you can take up there, but uh, this is the way you have to go. And we're gonna wall jump off that and sort of do a baby jump down here and punch this guy. What's nice about the jumping in this game is that, you know, you don't have to fully commit to your jumps. Notice how, like, you can control your jumps. It's a very nice feature. Also, you don't have to jump all the way up. It's not like Castlevania, where when you jump, you, you jump all the way every single time you jump. So it's very good to, to figure out how to baby jump in this game and, and control your jumps. So for this part right here, this guy basically shoots one projectile high, two projectiles low. Interesting, he's doing two projectiles high. I th thought it was always just one. Uh, so for this part right here, what I can do is I can actually get up here and just shoot this guy. Watch out for the lasers, because uh, they will absorb your projectile. One other strategy you can do is just jump from the side, like this. And what we're gonna do is switch over to our fists, and we need to punch that, uh, that core. What I like to do is just sort of uh, have my my left foot over, sort of like that uh, 
you know, the halfway point in that set of textures. And then you can just duck. It's a very tight positioning, but if you get your foot just right over that, you can just hold down and dodge his projectile projectiles. Uh, so we're going to have a couple problematic enemies here, and it's these hopping guys. So you don't want to get too close to them, otherwise they will actually start hopping towards you. And they're very difficult to deal with once they start doing that. See, there we go. But they take five shots with your, uh, your gun. And we're just going to jump right here. And there's going to be flamethrower guy right there. So what I like to do on this stage is just make sure I push the screen over just very, very slowly. Notice how, you know, I, I hopped over uh, as close to that, uh, you know, set of blades as I possibly could. So what we're going to do is just time our attacks here. If you really want to watch these guys. And to, to line up your attack. And same thing right here. See? I didn't want to go too far over, otherwise he would have just started jumping at me. And again, they only take five hits with the gun. And what we're going to do is take damage. All right, we're just going to skip that. Go to the ladder, you go to the next screen. And we're just going to fall down here. And we're going to fall straight down here as well. Oops, right onto a mine. There we go, we got him. There should be another one. Yep, there he is. So, low on health, but I'm not too worried about it. There are going to be some other points to grind out for more health. But the big thing is taking out those guys, because they're the biggest threat. Oops. Alright, so what I want to do is actually try to kill this guy like this. Actually, no, I'm just going to... I'm just going to punch him. Just like that. And here we go. Let's see if we can get some health back. So this is probably one of the most tedious aspects of Batman on the NES. Having to grind out for health and power-ups and whatnot. Now, you don't have to. But, you know, if you're trying to one credit clear the game, or do a one life clear, or something like that, uh, it's really imperative that you do grind. And you still have to be careful with the grind as well, because if you miss one of your attacks, you're going to take a hit. And it's very easy to, you know, mistime your attack with these guys. And again, like I said earlier, sometimes you can feel like an eternity to, you know, for it to, to drop hearts. The hearts are what extends your health, or replenishes your health. But I definitely don't want to die if I can avoid it. I'd, I'd like to get a one credit clear, but you know, there's there's a great, great possibility that's not going to happen because the Joker is a really, really tough boss fight. Like even when you know what to do, uh, he's just extremely challenging. It's probably one of the hardest, um, you know, eight bit bosses that I can think of. And it's not that he, not just that he's tough, but if you get a game over, you got to do his whole stage over again. And granted, his stage isn't super long, but you've got to be good and on point to get through it without taking much damage. All right, I think we should be good. That should be enough. Yeah, and even when you know the pattern for Joker, it's. Man, the, the you have to have some serious precision at him. He's a very, very tough boss fight. I think on my first Let's Play, I I just luckily won. I didn't even know the pattern. Um, but but you know now I do. So I'm gonna use this attack on this guy, and they basically shoot fireballs out at uh, sort of a 45 degree angle. And it's spaced out in, you know, the same manner every single time. They don't do rapid shots or anything like that. You can also sometimes despawn that guy. See, there he goes. He's gone. Very similar to uh, some of the enemies later on in Ninja Gaiden for, for NES. Um, that's a way you can deal with some of the harder parts in Ninja Gaiden. Uh, which you guys will actually see, hopefully sometime soon. I'm going to try to do uh, some sword-only runs on Ninja Gaiden. 
Uh, the first one to start off with, and then we'll we'll try to uh, practice and tackle parts two and three that way as well. So this part can be a little bit tricky. Um, you just gotta time your wall jump just right. And don't be afraid to do some baby jumps to, uh, to, you know, line up your jumps just right. Batman and a lot of NES games are, are all about timing and patterns and playing to the patterns and their timing. So with the flamethrower guys, it's like fire on, fire off, wait two seconds, fire on, fire off, wait two seconds. It's the same thing over and over. Same with those uh, tank looking guys. You know, they, they fire, then they wait. Then they fire, then they wait. It's very easy. And for this boss, what we're gonna do is just get into this rhythm right here, where he jumps over and we're just gonna hit him like this. We're just gonna use the boomerang. This is gonna take a while. So what you can do is you can try to do that attack as well. Try to get two hits off on him, so you have to time it just right. Oops, and I missed it. There we go. This is actually probably the better way to do it, but it requires better timing. The great thing about the boomerang in this game is that it only uses one, um, one set of ammunition, so, you know, you can get up to 99 shots with the boomerang, whereas with this one it uses three, so if you miss, uh, you get punished. Uh, you definitely don't want to be at bosses like these and then run out of ammo, but if you're not careful, it happens. Switch back over to the boomerang. Of the three weapons in the game, I find that it's best to either use the boomerang or the uh, the three-way shot. the uh, The gunshot can be good at certain points. Like I use, I like using the gun for the hopping enemies, um, but it uses up uh, two pieces of ammo, and um, for some reason it. it it seems like it's powerful against certain enemies, but not powerful against others. Um, so it's not always the, you know, the best idea to use it. But here's another hopping guy. There we go, and let's go ahead and get some ammo back. Yeah, I could have used these hearts earlier, thank you. <laughs> that was three hearts in a row. Why are you doing this to me, game? Seriously. Lots of bonus icons, too. There's some ammo. Well, we definitely need the ammo, because I only had, like, I think my ammunition was at 12, and that was it. And that's definitely not, not good. Uh, the little missile power-ups, the ammo replenishments, they give you uh, 10 weapon energy back. So, you know, if you pick up 4 or 5, that's 40 or 50. So that's, that's pretty solid. I think we're good. And let's go ahead and hit that. And... Let's just punch this guy. Actually, what we're gonna do is attack this from here. Just like so. That was kind of a sloppy way of doing that. Not a big deal, though. Because, you know, these guys are here a lot for the rest of the game. And actually, this is the second to last level already, guys. Um, did I mention that Batman's a really short game? So, assuming I just I tear through the Joker, which probably isn't going to happen, but, you know, we'll see. Uh, this should be a much shorter Let's Play than my previous one from, like, five or six years ago, whenever it was. Yeah, just playing it safe here. And I hate doing this, you know, this is just kind of a grind. For one, it's not very fun to do. Two, it's probably not very fun to watch. But, you know, in the name of survival, uh, it's definitely worth doing. Alright, let's, let's get out of here. Alright, some more hopping guys here, I believe. Yep. There they are. So I like to just do one, two, one, two, and then one. Just like that. 
Whoops. Yep, there he is again, and one, two. Or just one. It's harder to time uh, two hits on him like that when he's going upwards. It's easier when he's falling down into them. Alright, so a lot of wall jumping is going to happen right here. And this is going to be a good example of, you know, basically being invincible when you're punching enemies. Looks like that guy dropped a heart because I did take a hit, but uh, my health is full. So just time their flames and then jump in and punch them. So for some enemies here, I like to use some power-ups. So, uh, your power-ups, some power-ups go through walls, like this one. I'm just gonna use this, just burn some ammo, not a big deal. You'll get it back. Especially if they keep dropping missile power-ups like that. Alright, back over to the fist. And we don't have to kill this guy, he's just gonna respawn, but I'm gonna go ahead and kill him anyway. Alright, so we gotta do, uh, some good wall jumping here. Ooh, I, of course I messed it up, but that's, that's really tough to get. There we go. And we're just gonna kind of fall down here. And this is what I'm talking about right here. See how he just went right through me? And I'm not gonna worry about that one. And this one down here, I'm gonna go ahead and just kill this guy. Just to make my life a little bit easier. And let's go ahead and destroy that mine. Don't fall in the fire. Sure, it's pretty obvious, but it does hurt you. Alright, so we got some tiny platforms above that have conveyor belts. So they can be a little tricky to deal with. And just like earlier in the stage, we're gonna shoot through the walls to destroy some enemies. I, I like to come up this way and then use this right here and then jump down. And just take it nice and slow. If you mess up, you have to you fall all the way back down to the fire area and you gotta do that whole section over again. And I'm just gonna fall down like that. And we got another one of these guys here, so just he he fires, I jump, he fires, I jump. Rinse and repeat. Very simple stuff actually. Um Batman can be a really tough game, but it's it's so patternistic that I really feel like almost anyone can get through most of its stages without too much trouble. As long as, you know, they're playing just right. And for this part, I like to time my attack there and try to take out multiple enemies at once. And again, you've got you can grind all you want. We're gonna actually switch over to the boomerang now just to make grinding on this part a little bit easier. So, uh, grinding's easier, and I hurt this guy at the same time. So what's interesting is that there can't be any more than three power-up icons on screen at once. And if there are three on screen at once, uh, none of these guys will drop down. And when you've got your boomerang selected, it almost feels like the boomerang counts as one of those. Like it's one of those objects on screen. And so these guys won't actually come down. It doesn't seem like it's 100%. I'm a little confused by how it works. Oops, whoa, what was that? That was interesting. He just spawned out of nowhere. Alright, we should be fine here. Uh, something I wanted to note is when you go into a boss fight, it always defaults you back to your fists. And I wanted to just show you a couple different strategies here. One is to just sort of jump up and down like this. 
and just shoot these guys from a distance. Kind of like this. Another strategy is to sit here and just punch. But the problem with that is sometimes they'll shoot right as they're coming up. So if you're trying to play it super safe, uh, it's good to just sort of, you know, just hop up like this. And we're gonna just sort of punch this guy right here. Sort of try to use our invincibility here when we punch him just like that, and that's how you take that guy out. Yeah, punching is just insanely good in this game. Um, and, and it feels like the game was designed around it. I mean, these bosses, you really have to get in front of them and just wail on them with the punch. And if you couldn't punch like that and have the invincibility frames, uh, you know, associated with it, this game would be way, way harder than it, than it actually is or than it currently is. Yeah, here's another good example of, you know, the animation in the game. These gears, really great looking stuff for an NES game. Alright, so this is our final level. Um, there are two bosses at the end. I don't rem I don't know what the first guy is. I don't know his name or anything like that. I'm sure someone out there will comment about it. Um, but then the Joker comes after him. And fortunately, once you kill the first guy, you don't you don't have to kill him again. So that's nice. No hits so far, that's good. Alright, so these things right here, I wanted to explain earlier, but basically what they do is they attack once, they wait, and then they attack twice. So he just attacked once, and we're gonna get up and just sort of punch our way into him. And we have to do... Ugh, the right timing there. Okay, so that was... he did... he did it twice, that's once, he's gonna do it twice now. That's once. So he basically goes one, and then one, two. One, and then one, two. That was a one, two right there. That sh this should be a one, yep. Oops. And if you don't time it just right, you can get you can get hurt by him. There we go. Ooh, man. Two times, I got it, without taking damage. I always take damage there, that's, that's why I'm kind of impressed. Like, oh man, I always take a hit there. So that, that's good. Yeah, and don't get me wrong, like, Bat Batman's a very patternistic game, but uh, it uh, it is also very precision-oriented. So you've got to be precise in this game. But that's one of the satisfying things about the game, and one of the things I've always loved about this game. So we're going to go ahead and try to start this with full health. The ammo doesn't really matter that much. Not that much, I should say. I mean, we do want ammo for the first form, but the second form, it's all about punching. Alright, so what we're gonna do is switch to the boomerang and then start attacking right away on the bottom. We're gonna duck and attack. And then we're gonna jump. We're gonna wait for him to attack, then jump. Attack, jump. Wait for him to attack, jump. Attack, jump. Jump. Attack. Ooh, messed that up. Jump. Attack, just like that. Jump, attack. See the the kind of pattern you can get into here. So jump, and jump, and attack. You don't have to actually duck. I just I do it out of habit, really. It's actually probably more damage to just stand and attack because he seems like he's getting hit a little bit longer. And jump, attack, jump, and attack. He should be dead soon. Now, there are a bunch of different strategies for this guy, but this is the one that I figured out that I'm the most comfortable with. And I don't really care about how fast it takes me. There we go. As long as I do it, say, without taking damage. Because we need all the health we can get for Joker. Uh, Joker has a gun, and he's got a lightning attack, and he runs at you. So we're going to try to jump right away. Jump. Ooh, that's not what I was expecting. I'm gonna jump right into him, and when he does a lightning attack, you need to you need to get away from him just slightly, just like that. Oops, not good. Oh, 
I still took a hit! That was crazy. I thought I might have even managed to get a one life clear in this game, which I've never done before. And his gunshot is just insanely powerful. Insanely powerful. Bam, we got it. <laughs> we got a one credit clear at least. Oh, that's great, man. That's that's actually really good. Although a one life clear would have been amazing. But um, Joker is really tough in this game. Um, so normally what happens is when you get to the fight, he shoots his gun twice. Um, and so you want to jump over the first one, jump over the second one, and then he should do a lightning attack. When he does his lightning attack, you need to st step away from right in front of him just barely. Uh, otherwise, you'll get hit by the first lightning bolt. And then you need to make sure you're timing your punches on him because when he dashes across the screen, if you mistime your punch, he's going to hit you. Fortunately, him running into you and the lightning bolts, I think, only take one or two health blocks away. But the gunshots take like three or four. I think it's four, actually, because it's three hits with the gun and you're dead. Um, I think it's like you get hit, tw hit twice, you have one or two blocks of health left. And uh, so the Joker is very, very dangerous in this game. And you've got to get that pattern down just right. Otherwise, it's, it's, it's very, very difficult. And remember, you only get two lives in this game. You don't get extra lives or anything. Um, so no extra lives, no no boost to your confidence as you go through the game. You only have like, you know, the health refills and whatnot via the hearts, you know, so you've got that section where you can grind out for hearts right before the Joker. Um, but you know, you die twice, you gotta continue, and uh, you gotta do that whole stage over again. So uh, the Joker can be very difficult to deal with for that reason. It's kind of like the Ninja Gaiden effect where, you know, when you die at the final boss in Ninja Gaiden, you gotta go all the way back to the very beginning and you gotta do the whole level over again. And it's not that Joker's level is long, but for a lot of people, that final platforming section, that vertical shaft, is gonna be a nightmare for, for inexperienced players. Um, but yeah, just put some time into it, give it some practice, and uh, you know, again, it, it, it's totally doable though. It's very patternistic, and uh, it just takes practice, so. But yeah, with that guys, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them below in the comment section. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just wrap the video up here. I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough. Much, much shorter than my last one, I think. Probably about, a, a, about 20 minutes at least. Um, but yeah, I'm glad I was able to revisit this game and actually do better than I did in the past, so. Uh, it was fun coming back to this and, and learning some new strategies and whatnot. If you have any strategies of your own, drop them in the comments section uh, below as well. I'd love to hear them. So um, anyway, I'm going to wrap things up, guys. If you're brand new to my channel, click that subscribe button to get subscribed. We've got a ton of Let's Plays on here and many more to come. So if you like this format and video, that's basically what we do here. We also do live streams on Thursday night as of, uh, as of this recording. So feel free to uh, stop by and hang out during those as well, or just stop in and say hello. Uh, for everyone already subbed and supporting the channel, um, thank you as usual for your continued support. Uh, you know, I hope you guys continue to enjoy getting these videos. Um, and uh, until the next video, take it easy.